Okay, so I think recording is just started now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, so uh, Alex, hello, how are you today? Hello, Kay. I'm very fine, thanks. How are you? Very good, very good. I'm very good, very good, actually. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Many things happened <laughs> towards the year and new year, but finally, I'm settled and I'm okay. I come back to my normal routine now. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's a little bit yeah like on my side. Um, on my side also, a lot of things have has happened in the in the past months. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, you you went you went through all these and uh, you're okay now. I'm very fine. A little bit uh, stress in the beginning, but uh, now everything mm -hmm. is on its way. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. <laughs> okay. So yeah, today um, I wanted to to uh, talk to you about your uh, experience, your trade mm -hmm. experience, and uh, what you do right now, and how you uh, become a funded trader. Okay. Because um, I think, uh, yeah, other traders uh, will also be interested on your journey as a trade experience. So, uh, yeah, so today I would like to ask you about your trade experience and also how you change before after GTS in yeah. terms of the strategy and mindset and so on. And also uh, how you passed challenge. I think that's, that will be a big story for you. So um, <laughs> yeah, <indeed. laughs> yeah, feel free to talk. Yeah, okay. feel free to talk about that experience. And yeah. then what you do now. Okay. Okay, you study uh, your, your new journey on YouTube. So I think you can also mention that too. Yeah, sure, sure. Let me, let me do first a little, little bit about my trading experience. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I was interested in, in uh, markets, uh, uh, stock markets already, let's say 20, 30 years ago. Uh, looked at it anymore. And um, when, when I did come back, um, when, when Corona starts, uh, I, I asked myself, hey, this is a good situation where you can not make many mistakes because <laughs> so the um, vacation boats and such also the companies with vacation boats uh, the, the stocks mm -hmm. are going down and so on and so on and I put a little bit of money on on different stocks and uh, made some money uh, for three four months mm -hmm. and get interested again and in in uh, August September 2020, I think, um, I started my my journey with with forex. I become interested in forex because I want to do a little bit more. Because I thought, hey, you can do it. It seems so. I can mm -hmm. do it. Uh, <laughs> I thought in the past, and started mm -hmm. a little bit learning forex and and um, yeah, traded a little bit on my my, my private account. And um, yeah, my journey is like the, the journey of the most uh, traders. Uh, you start enthusiastic mm -hmm. and uh, with a lot of uh, mm -hmm. speed and fun. And sure. suddenly, okay, um, it's not going that good way anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, I mm -hmm. thought of myself, okay, maybe I have to learn some, some basics uh, in front of it. And uh -huh. uh, then I... Uh, I was always interested in Asian culture. So the old Asian culture. I'm, I'm doing uh, Qigong and Tai Chi. And mm -hmm. then I stumbled over the name Ichimoku. And I was so fascinated mm -hmm. about having my, my, uh, um, my, my experience with the Asian culture together with the, the trading market. Mm -hmm. So I was searching for... Uh, um, some trainer, some mentor uh, to mm -hmm. learn this. And mm -hmm. I found someone in uh, uh, in the US, and but I was not really quite happy with him. Not with him as a person, uh, maybe mm -hmm. more the style of it. So I, I cannot exactly explain uh, why. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. there was a guy 
who was telling me, hey, there is a Japanese guy, he's teaching also Ichimoku. And in this mm-hmm. way, I, I came to you and uh, okay, okay, start, start my my um, learning journey. And uh, yeah, it, it was a hard journey. I got mm-hmm. a lot of bloody noses, uh, like uh, mm-hmm. maybe most of traders. I think this is a yeah. typical journey. Uh, you also told uh, in the beginning you have also some phases where you have. Uh, not that good profit and uh, come back then. Yeah, again. exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's uh, the, the beginning of the journey, and I start learning very hard and 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 fast. Um, I have mm-hmm. to say, your your teachings, your videos. I looked at your videos, mm-hmm. and I became very. Or my in my mindset, I know very fast. I have to do more, and I saw your uh, offer of a GTS education the three mm-hmm. months, and mm-hmm. it was very quickly for me clear that I have to do this. Mm-hmm. So that's the point where I I joined the GTS. Okay. And, okay. Um, yeah. Till then. I didn't know really much about Ichimoku. I've learned mm-hmm. maybe two months uh, your videos, uh, but GTS is, in my opinion, completely different because there's an additional part. So there's a personal mentor part um, you are doing in, in the education. And that's something you cannot learn from the videos and uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. also how the education is built up uh, it does make a many make many sense uh, to do this mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. yeah during the gts um my trading changes a lot uh, i have to say first first of all mm-hmm. it was uh, good and positive uh, mm-hmm. so i Get the okay. profit factor, <laughs> I get the win rate. Um, mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. after this, um, I get the psycho- psychological problem, maybe like mm-hmm. a lot of traders have. Mm-hmm. I thought, hey, I'm good. Maybe I'm better. I can improve this strategy. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. I started to tweak something. I added an indicator. Look at this to Mm -hmm. maybe get more confirmation. I looked at this and put Mm -hmm. it together. Um, I'm, I think I'm very good in doing uh, pine scripts on TradingView. Mm -hmm. So I start um, implementing scripts. Uh, Mm -hmm. um, That's not the bad part because I learned during doing this a lot about Ichimoku because you have to put in the values mm-hmm. you have to understand this right yeah but the the bad thing about using the scripts like I have done it is I was focused too much on the script and I, I trust okay. only on the scripts on the signals they gave me and mm-hmm. don't mm-hmm. look so much after the signal to see, hey, you got a signal, but now mm-hmm. you have to look like you learned it, if this is mm-hmm, a fake mm-hmm. signal and or not, because yeah. in the scripts, yeah. you can do a lot of work, but you cannot cover everything the market do. And mm-hmm. that, that was yeah. my, my problem. I mm. got a little bit away from what I've learned in GTS, mm-hmm. try to add mm-hmm. something uh, maybe like a child, <laughs> a child uh, <laughs> don't want to uh, listen to, mm-hmm. to uh, the parents <laughs> and want sure, to do something sure. different. And um, yeah, yeah, it happens. maybe maybe that's <laughs> yeah. a good uh, uh, example uh, how it was. Mm. And mm-hmm. yeah, during this or well, during already during GTS, I started mm-hmm. some challenges for a funded mm-hmm. account. Uh huh. Way too early, much too early. So, uh, <laughs> okay, please, looking uh, back, everyone who sees this, don't do this. 
Um, <laughs> okay. What should I say? I, I got a lot of bloody noses with different challenges, mm -hmm. put a lot of money into these challenges, mm -hmm. really a lot of money. Right, right. Yeah. Um, and I was short to think to stop trading at all. Uh, mm. Because I spent a lot of money and I thought for myself, hey, you you have done it in GTS. Now it's not working anymore. Why? Mm -hmm. I thought yeah. I would do good things to add and add and add. and um, But I mm -hmm. get more and more distance to the basics mm -hmm. you, you have teached in, in, in GTS and in the videos. Mm -hmm. And that was mm -hmm. the bad part. And it took, took a while to to recognize this to get mm, mm. Uh, there comes a point i said to me okay here stop break get back to the basics and mm -hmm. put only the the good things of what you have done because what i've done was not bad but the use mm -hmm. how i have, how i have used this this was a bad part so mm -hmm. when mm -hmm doing scripts and something like this it's totally fine but only use mm -hmm. this as a a signal a signal is not more as a signal it's not a, a trading signal to jump mm -hmm. in it's only a signal right. to wake up and hey uh -huh. look at it there might be mm -hmm. an opportunity and not more mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. important, important yeah thing. just like a lot so yeah. when when i have right. this in get into my mind to do this the the um the profit and and the the trading or the trading style starts completely mm. different and goes up again and mm -hmm. uh, finally uh, i reached a funded account and mm -hmm. yes yeah, this was yeah. after this long journey because this journey uh took me yeah almost one and a half year, one mm -hmm. year, nine months. Yeah, and, right. One and a uh, half year already. Yeah, it right. Took me a lot of yeah stress, confidence, and doubts uh, about my my trading. And mm -hmm. maybe you can mm -hmm. imagine uh, at the time when I clicked to close the trade above the level to get the funded account. Mm -hmm, wow. mm -hmm. It was so <laughs> overwhelming feeling. Yeah. <laughs> I started mm -hmm. music uh, uh, very uh, loud. Okay. <laughs> Maybe mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. the people uh, mm -hmm. know the, the old um, old song from uh, Cool and the Gang Celebration. <laughs> I, okay, okay. <laughs> put it loud okay. on the speaker. And, uh, put it loud and it celebrate. Really yeah, 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 indeed, indeed, because <laughs> this such a was moment, so yeah. a major milestone for me to mm -hmm. the, the uh, so it was so much effort I put into it, and for every, mm -hmm. everyone uh, seeing this video, um, the most important thing is don't stop doing it. Mm -hmm. Get get a vision into your mind what you want to mm -hmm. reach with trading. So, and mm -hmm. think about this vision every evening when you go to uh, go to bed before you fall into sleep. Get this picture and put it into your mind. It will, it will work, but don't stop mm -hmm. in between when there's a phase of um, where it's not working that in that manner you you want to have it uh, because the market mm -hmm. is not according to the strategy or your uh, mm -hmm. condition is not good um yeah don't have doubts about yourself if you follow the strategy if your psychology um the basement of the psychology is, is okay and that's uh, I think it's the most most important advice to don't stop mm -hmm. and keep doing it. There comes a mm -hmm. point where you will be successful, and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. unfortunately, I think a lot of traders stop before they short before they reach the point, and they don't know how close they are to this point, mm -hmm. and maybe only yeah. one or two steps to to get yeah over maybe. This. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe. Yeah, right. that's that's how GTS changed my mind and my trading. But you have also to do you uh, you have to work on your own. So GTS mm -hmm. is very yeah. good in in kind of trading in psychology in risk risk management and so on. But don't miss the part. You have to work on yourself. Okay, so mm -hmm. you are that's always. True talking about <laughs> this um but that's maybe, true yeah maybe not everyone is uh, has a view how important this this part is to work on yourself mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. don't have doubts about yourself because it's not working yeah. for a week or maybe or two weeks or three weeks so mm -hmm. um i mm -hmm. i took one and a half year or a little bit more about this mm -hmm. with lots of ups and downs and lots yeah. of money I spent into it yeah um, but it's worse it's worse mm -hmm. to keep going mm -hmm. after looking back you th you think it's worse yeah indeed. indeed to to have ups yeah. ups and downs after finishing gts yeah as i said before uh, there was a moment i uh, thought about stopping trading at all so mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. i had stopped in this moment i was like i said before short to the moment to reach the goal and don't get away and that's mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. that's true one of the important things uh, yeah i think i really think so yeah i really think so yeah i say gts is not the end of the journey but it's the beginning of a new journey on your trace so don't simply think just finishing GTS, you'll be profitable because you have to work on it. You have to work on it and consistent, uh, consistently improve your trace and look back your own trading journey and mm -hmm. uh, just keep on going. Yeah, but, I, I, but yeah, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, go ahead. No, it's okay. I think this mm -hmm. is like building, building a house. Um, when when your your vision of what you want to do with your trading uh, anyway if you want to be a full time trader or you want only uh, add a little bit uh, uh, money to your to your bank account uh, doesn't matter you have to have a vision how it it would be uh, when you are at your goal so this is maybe the house your vision and gts builds the basement and maybe first floor second floor mm. but the top that is you yourself you have to mm -hmm. put much of energy in mm -hmm. yourself and um mm -hmm. yeah yeah that that is the part after gts to mm -hmm. right finish building the house yes the last part yes the top uh you need to be consistent successful mm -hmm. that's true that's true and i'm totally flexible on uh whichever indicators whichever uh pine scripts you use after finishing gts as long as you keep the basic rules in terms mm -hmm. of the risk management and the money management i think no matter which strategy you use you be successful if you have the right mindset towards the market but people start to fail because of psychology, because of the lack of patience, because of the fear of the losses. And then they start to see things differently than I, I taught in the GTS. And uh, that may create some uh, conf confusions and frustrations uh, to, to the graduate members, I think. Yeah, indeed. But uh, and I, say, I say this because... Uh, I say this because I had that exactly the same experience before. Mm -hmm. So I have I have been changing so many strategies, so many indicators. I was buying so many signals and tools, but uh, one thing I didn't have was a consistency. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think the most important part was that I came back to to Ichimoku itself. Uh, to be honest, I'm using actually still. Um, additional parts like i'm using uh, kyushu ashi uh, haikenashi mm -hmm. uh, but mm -hmm. 
but I use them only as um, additional confirmation for me because mm -hmm. even after reaching the funded account and uh, doing it, I think very well, um, I feel not that much confident like you do after years um, mm. to, to look only on Ichimoku because even after two years, there's so much to, to learn about Ichimoku. Mm. Um, mm. So I, I use this as an additional confirmation to be more confident and that's completely fine for me. Um, but I look at them first. And at the mm -hmm. last point, every time the last point is Ichimoku. If Ichimoku don't show me uh, the, the, that the rules are fully complete there, I don't trade mm -hmm. this. Then the, mm -hmm. the other mm -hmm. points can say anything they want. So um, yeah. that's, that's, I think, the important point. You can use additional mm -hmm. sync, but if Ichimoku, right. how you learned it, says no, don't trade. Yeah, that's a discipline. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes if you add some other some other confirmations, some other indicators, then uh, the signals may contradict. Ichimoku says it's to stop, but maybe some other indicators, maybe Heikin Ashi or Kyushu Ashi may say to trade and you may confuse yeah. yourself. But Indeed. always follow Ichimoku first and then other ones use it as additional uh, information. Indeed. Yeah, supportive so, information. I, th I think yeah. lots of people haven't, haven't get the, the real complete picture that they don't need anything else than Ichimoku because they are not at that level like you do um, to see everything Ichimoku gives you as, as uh, signs and what you can read about uh, the chart and what he, mm -hmm. the chart is telling you. So um, mm -hmm. that's maybe why uh, the people look for different things. Mm -hmm. I think so. Even for me, I use Ichimoku, but I also look at the price action candlesticks in mm -hmm. the lines too. Okay. So, and for me, because I have, of course, so many experience, years of experience, mm -hmm. so sometimes I feel unconsciously I remember this is not the right timing to enter trade. Okay. Sometimes, unconsciously, I think this is the right timing, but this is based on my experience. And uh, sometimes I don't know where this inspiration is coming from, but um, I know it's the right timing, but I always follow Ichimoku and uh, look for opportunities. So as you mentioned, uh, the last one and a half year, maybe some ups and downs, and I know mm -hmm. you have struggled a lot. We talked a bit and uh, mm -hmm. you struggle a lot, but um, I don't think that's a wasteful experience. I think it means a lot. And uh, I think it gives you more confidence uh, to, to trade uh, in the long run from now. Yeah, sure. Also, trading is the, the most challenging uh, business you can have in terms of um, psychology. Um, I was uh, in, in my, my beginning of my career, I was earlier, I was in, in IT business and was a teacher. And after this, I was a IT manager responsible for 30 people around the world. It's also challenging uh, to, to, uh, to guide this, such a team. Um, mm -hmm. But trading is, is completely different. It, it took yeah. everything you don't know about yourself <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, right, right, yeah. into the light. Mm -hmm. And you think, mm -hmm. hey, mm -hmm. you thought you are confident and you are good. Mm -hmm. But there are some points you have to learn. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> yeah. We are totally in a different business. And you have to do it alone. You have to take full responsibility on whatever you do in trading yeah. and no one no one uh no one is with you in terms of profit and loss i can be with you emotionally psychologically mm -hmm. but in terms of profit and loss it should be only for you so it's sometimes it's really cruel 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, to, it's a lovely ban- business. You can listen yeah. to any advice, but you have to practice it on your own. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. I think the practice uh, takes a big part in trading. Yeah. As we mentioned, you can't just follow signals to take trades. Um, you have to see charts manually. Mm-hmm. And based on experience, you have to judge things. So, yeah. And um, yeah. maybe so the last part as the advice is um, don't copy other people, even, even uh, don't copy you. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, because mm-hmm. um, if someone has not the same character, the same personality, maybe the the complete way how you do this is not according to the personality of the the trader the other trader mm-hmm. so uh, yeah. follow the way in general and think about how you or when you do screenshots or how often or whatever um, but don't leave the general way step a little bit left a little bit right whatever but don't um Come, come always back to the, the main street. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's true. That's a very important advice, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think Forex is not to gain a quick money. It's a for a long run, like a marathon. So, um, but uh, I think some people tend to, uh, tend to, uh, tends to have the feeling of the quick money in trading because first it's easy to execute like mm-hmm. w- 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 you open the chart you press buy button and in the next 10 seconds 20 seconds you may be able to make profits and sometimes there are so, the, like the videos are like that uh in public but um it's not as, that easy uh as you expected so and following someone signals is also uh, something I don't recommend either because uh, there's no learning and uh, because I used to do it also and mm. I used to use the paid signal service and mm. following the signals but uh, one day the signal service just ended and I was totally lost because I was following the signal service okay. yeah. but uh, once he's gone I don't I didn't know what to do so I had yeah. to look for another signal service and that was a risk for me that's that's a really important also. part um i would not say you never should follow any signals but as you said you have to to learn the things what the signals are doing first so you understand what the signals uh, want to tell you and that's exactly important. so don't mm-hmm. use signals before you have uh, finished your education mm-hmm. and, and, your, and your psychology mindset and then maybe if you find some good signals maybe mm-hmm. maybe yeah that's a good point very good point yeah so in terms of uh what you do now so mm-hmm. you have passed the funding challenge congratulations mm-hmm. again <laughs> yeah, in your new journey yeah. yeah and uh, besides that uh you mentioned you're doing youtube channel also yeah indeed so can uh, you briefly explain uh what you do there and okay and let me share screen also and uh maybe you can uh, briefly explain uh what you share in your youtube yeah sure maybe maybe a few words why i'm doing it and, and how i came mm-hmm. to this um okay <clears throat> Yeah. After after getting the the funded account, um, there was a guy in a different Discord server who um, asked me uh, after a little bit con- uh, conversation uh, if we can uh, do something together, talk to to each other, to to help each other, and I said, okay, we can do it, sure. And mm-hmm. uh, after a while, I recognized that this guy hasn't the, the basis to, to trade. Uh, he has no education and uh, doing here a little bit, here a little bit. 
so um, I started a little bit to to teach him and and being a, a kind of mentor to him and mm -hmm. uh, yeah I don't know why, when and why this happens then there came to to other people to this and I had a small group of, of English speaking traders um, mm -hmm. where I was a mentor for it uh, and it was not planned <laughs> it, it comes comes so. okay <laughs> and before mm -hmm. this I already thought about doing a YouTube channel but I was a little bit afraid about uh, that this will be a lot of work to do this mm. Yeah, but when it comes to this small group, um, I recognized again what I had have done in the past as a, as a teacher that I have really really much fun to to teach people something and help them. And mm -hmm. then I I thought again, okay, let's try it, let's start it, and uh, I, I thought about what I want to do with this what what kind of let's say mission i i have with this because mm -hmm. there are so so many people out there um who wants to educate uh, people in trading um mm -hmm. and then i thought hey the last step the step to become a funded trader to fulfill your goal like uh being a full-time trader or like I said before, I'll add a little bit money to your bank account. I think that's mm -hmm. the part where the most have the, the missing the gap uh, who's not fulfilled from from someone. And mm -hmm. then I looked mm -hmm. on the German speaking market, and yeah, there are some videos about Ichimoku, but not that much, mm -hmm. but maybe not that deeply explained. And so I come to the idea to put the things together. I'm doing the education in the German speaking countries um, mm -hmm. on Ichiboko and put the, the way, or I, I build a way to a funded trader with the basis mm -hmm. of Ichimoko, uh, with the education as a coach or mentor. Um, and my goal is to get the people to be a funded trader. So the last, mm -hmm. last step mm -hmm. after the education, the important part, I do this uh, with yeah, mostly the same like you do, psychology, uh, risk management, um, but with the additional part, um, the way to become a funded trader. And mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. YouTube and uh, also I have a Discord server um, similar mm -hmm. to, to most of them uh-huh okay okay that's really realistic based on your experience in ichimoku and your uh, funded trader uh experience mm -hmm. i think it's so realistic and uh yeah i think you found a niche uh to to do this now yeah so what i would have to say is uh, i i never expected i'm uh, to be honest i am <laughs> doing this for now seven, eight, nine days. I don't know. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I've done a little Just bit planning before, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, my goal was to have one subscriber end of January, <laughs> and <I put> the first <laughs> okay. uh, videos on it, and maybe I've yeah. done not so not that bad, and have within a week yeah. eighteen subscribers. Think, hey, what's yeah, going on have here? <laughs> Yeah, and I'm one of them already. Yeah, sure. Thanks, <laughs> so, thanks yeah. for this. <laughs> I think uh, this channel grows because um, what you share is really honest and genuine. So I'm sure uh, lots of uh, lots of uh, German-speaking traders who wants to use Ichimoku and who wants to pass challenge can benefit from what you yeah. share. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. My my. This is the fun part. Uh, I have to done, do this uh, beside of my trading because I have for sure uh, <laughs> go on trading. Um, mm -hmm. But this is for me more the fun part because I mm -hmm. like to, as I said before, I like to teach and help people. Maybe sometime I have to go a step back to 
put not too much in this help because uh, mm -hmm. I really like mm -hmm. to help. Um, uh -huh. and, um, uh -huh. But that's not that bad. You have to get a little bit of balance uh, for this. Mm -hmm. but sure, that, of course. It's good for the so. traders. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It is, it is. And also, I think uh, this is my experience, but after uh, you start to speak about the market and Ichimoku and analysis, you will be better and better because that was also me. Um, because I speak like this, because I I analyze charts mm -hmm. with Ichimoku, with my strategy in the YouTube, I benefit also. I learn from I learn from the way I speak myself, and also I, learn, I also learn based on the comments I get from the audience. So it's actually for both ways. I think I think the best way to input yourself is by output. So in this way, I think you can uh, you, can, you will be more confident on your strategy. Yeah, indeed. and uh, yeah, you can. I'm sure you will be uh, more com confident and consistent by yeah. doing this. Yeah, sure. Yeah. There were now two times where I start to review my learnings you have teach me. Uh, the first time was when I uh, doing the scripts or building the scripts, as I said. And now the second time, because I have to look again into the basic master book or whatever um, to, to look, hey, what are the topics uh, I, I need mm -hmm. for this special video? Yeah. Um, Right. Even when I know everything, what what is in this, I have to mm -hmm. review it and see again. Yeah. And it's different when you have to explain it to something other than uh, explain it to yourself. Yeah, exactly. That's right. That's right. Expl explaining something or teaching something uh, requires much higher understanding, much deeper understanding than simply understanding yourself. Yeah, so, indeed, indeed. Yeah, yeah. I think this is a good way in that sense too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, very nice. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so let me stop sharing now. Screen. I very appreciate this, okay. that we can can <laughs> do this video and um, maybe someone can participate and and um, I would be very very happy uh, to if someone gets through this and get funded. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I really hope so too. And uh, we keep in touch. And uh, maybe in the future, maybe we can uh, have another video about funding funding program. Or uh, maybe we can exchange some thoughts. And uh, yeah, sure. we keep in touch. And, uh, I, I wish you a great success, not only in your trades, but also everything you do in life. <laughs> yeah thank you wish you too and uh, yeah, let's, yeah let's do another video because i think uh, i know almost any prop firm on the market and have a lot of experience with it mm -hmm. sure because personally i don't have experience on this funding challenge mm -hmm. but uh you do so uh yeah i would like to i actually have many questions about the funding program mm -hmm. so yeah, maybe okay. we can have another video or conversation and sure. help me understand what's going on in the funding programs. <laughs> At any time. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. <laughs> I have to thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you very much.